Hey guys, Lucas here. I'm glad you could tune into my channel. In this episode, we're going to be talking about um, tire repair, and uh, we're going to be talking about uh, transmission of Maribu Bear, and also we're going to be talking about the driver inside of Tamiya um, Bruiser right here, so you can uh, uh, see how I got that done. And we're going to be talking about uh, the roll bar um, fitting inside, um, fitting on top of the uh, Murray Big Bear. Uh, it's going to be a lot of content in a short amount of time. Let's uh, get this going. All right, first thing I want to talk to you about, like I promised, is the tires. In this episode, I'm going to show you what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. And then in the next episode, we're going to put it all together. It's going to look great. So easy thing to do. Like I told you guys, you want to make sure you got some just old uh, bicycle inner tube. Make sure you wash it really good. Get all the uh, oils and everything off of it. Soak it if you have to overnight in a, in a uh, dish detergent. And uh, make sure it's nice and clean. Go ahead. And if you have two if you fine tires, like I told you guys in the previous episode, I already uh, dissected this one because it's, it was blowed right there okay see daylight really good so but this part on the other side was good so this one no good and then I had another spare right here this side's got some white paint on it but other than that it's it's pretty nice it's nice it's still soft this side was chewed up so, so what I'll do is I'll take my trusty little uh, blade see I already got started a little bit and then I'm gonna bend it like that, where the two pieces uh, are together. And then I'm just gonna cut it across. Take your time when you're doing this, guys. There's no rush on this. Now, in this episode, we're just gonna basically be dissecting these two tires. And the next episode, we're gonna put them together and uh, show you how it's all done. So, and slow and steady wins the race on this one. Now it's uh, a little boring content, but tires aren't easy to find. I actually found some tires that I think would work for the Big Bear. I just don't know the brand of it. I got them off eBay. And I'll show you those in a second and what I'm going to use them on. So I bend a little bit, then I cut into it. I bend a little bit, I cut into it. Just the cleaner the line, the better. This is all done right now. Almost through it all. I'll bend it again. Go this way. Right. There we go. Okay, I separated. And then once it's together. There's going to be two, it looks just like that to make one complete tire. Okay, and then this is the material. I cut it. You can actually see when you put the uh, cut inner tube. You can use anything that's rubber, but just one. I use inner tubes because it just, you know, it works better for me. And you just trim the fit. All right. Then you'll let that sit overnight. I'll use this stuff here just to make a base. So I'll use that and just put it on one section. And then leave it right there. So on this one, you'll see uh, there's like a little line in the middle. So I'll just right there and leave that much hanging out. Really easy, guys, to do. Not hard. Just takes time, one tire at a time. So that's that. And then the next episode, I'll show you what it looks like together. And then I found these tires off of eBay right here. I don't know the brand of this one, but they're pretty nice. Right here. 
there's just that much material that I got to cut. And on these uh, rims, I'll show you, there's actually these little uh, sections. Um, there's approximately that much material I've got to remove. So I'm just going to cut this and this and then bring it back together and glue it and then epoxy the outside and then put it back and glue it and that will be perfect. So that's kind of, so I mean, experimental stuff turns out good if you're willing to take the chance to do it. So really nice looking tire. It's going to look tops on this body here. Got here. I'm doing a military themed Big Bear. So once that one's on here, I'll show you. It gives it a nice rough look. I think it's going to look cool. Once all said and done. So, with that. Oh, well, I got this here. This is what I want to talk to you guys real quick about. All right, so it goes in and out nice and neat. Now, the roll bars will be sometimes real hard to get inside these little areas of the body mounts in the bed. What I'll do is, it's real easy. I'll take my blade again. I'm going to sort of see where I sanded it with the blade. Sometimes I've four or five times is all you need in order to get in there. Do not struggle trying to put that in there because you can break these tabs in the truck bed. I've done it, it's not good. And now she goes in there just like she's supposed to. And that's nice, just like that. There's no fighting it. And then, well now I'm going through the, everything real quick guys. All right, this is the uh, Maroof Jeep that I did. Um, that it's got finished doing. It was really bad. Um, that's what it looked like underneath. I didn't bother doing too much underneath it. I think it's fine. But there it is. Uh, this is actually the Golden Eagle. Typically they're white. But I wanted to kind of do a little uh, pick on it to me a Wild Willie. So it turned out really nice. A lot of hours on this one. But definitely worth it. Um, if you want to know more about this one, just hit me and ask me a question and I'll go over more with you on that. And the really big thing I want to talk to you guys about was this uh, truck. The Bruiser that I finished. Okay, so this one, you see my driver? You can see him and he can see you. Okay, typically you wouldn't be able to see him very well. Because the, those guys, I don't think the the, the, the drivers are made are the, the the ones that people use aren't necessarily for the uh, trucks. I think they're made for uh, semis and stuff like that. So to tell you a little bit about this one is I was, I, I was wondering why well, can I get this guy to fit properly in there. So what I did was on the inside and and for the seats to mesh and so there's a bolt here that attaches to the seat. Uh, of the driver so it bolts in there's no glue there's nothing everything's attached just like it should be so and I like everything to fit perfect and here's a little um, window mirror that I got rigged up with just a little piece of um, nail and glued it you know, on the inside and now it swivels I think that's pretty neat okay so right here I cut the torso using a hacksaw and you guys, what? You hacksawed the driver? Yes, I did. I hacksawed him at the belt line. And I cut about an eighth of an inch material. And then I glued him back and sanded it smooth. And you never know it. And now he fits in there like a, like perfect. He's, you can actually see his body. You can see his head and everything like that. Okay, typically it's, you just see the body. You don't see the head at all. So everything's nice and balanced. So, turn out nice. This one's a pretty, this is a pretty truck. Um, the, uh, I had to, I went with my gut and went cream, uh, accessories on this one with the body. I think it turned out nice. Only thing I got to do now is do the cream badging or the cream, uh, logo on the back to you. So this was a lot of fun. This is the vintage one. This is an oldie, but a goodie. All right. So I'm glad that one finally turned out nice. And then... I know you guys, I don't know if I talked to y'all about this. This is the, uh, the Murray Big Bear one I wanted to talk to you about. This one's going to be called the Christine. So it's going to be all red and um, silver on the sides. So tinted windows and all that good stuff. So can't wait for you guys to see that one in the next episode. All right, you guys, hope you're doing well. If you have any comments or anything, please leave them down below in the description. 
And like always, keep on remember, remember Big Baron. I can't say that word, uh, word very well. And if you can, hit a like, and I'd love for you to subscribe on my channel. And we're going to talk about a lot more goodies in the next episode. All right, guys. Oh, one more thing uh, before I go. You know, I'm, I'm trying to keep you guys here forever. Is the um, the transmission uh, housing when you put them back to when you clean them, sand these guys down. That way they'll fit nice and flush. Because if you don't, they don't sit flush. They sit, and you'll see why. There's too much material right there. Here, so sand it a little bit, and then put it back there again, and it'll look good. And all the gears and everything nice and tight. It's it all askew. All right, guys. Sorry to hold you up for that, but I had to remember my other detail. All right, guys. See you in the next episode, and uh, take care. Bye.